Well, happy Thursday morning to you. Thank you for tuning in to our morning check-in here at eFree Church. Now, yesterday we started walking through one of the postcards of the Bible, one of those one-chapter letters that Paul wrote, this one being 3 John. And we're being introduced in this book to three different men. And the first one we call Godly Gaius. Now, we already learned that Gaius was somebody who was a believer. He's a leader in his church. He's got a very special relationship with the Apostle John. We also saw yesterday that he was a man of great integrity, a man of spiritual growth. That's why John said to him, I only can hope that every area of your life would prosper and be as strong as your spiritual life is. But today I want to show you something else about Gaius. Not only is he a man of integrity because he's a man of spiritual growth, but secondly, he was a man of righteous living. Righteous living. Listen to what the Bible says in 3 John verse 3. John says to Gaius, I was very glad when brethren came and testified to your truth. That is how you are walking in truth. And then he says this, I have no greater joy than this to hear that my children are walking in truth. Gaius was a man of righteous living. So much so that when other believers from where Gaius lived traveled to where the Apostle John was, they made these great reports. John, Gaius is such a great man of God. And John makes a statement that I find astounding. He says, I have no greater joy than this to hear my children are walking in spiritual truth. Now, obviously, Gaius wasn't a biological son of John. That tells me he was a spiritual son of John. In other words, John's the one who led him to Jesus. And he says to him, Gaius, I have no greater joy than to hear that those who I've led to Jesus are walking in truth. And I can tell you as a pastor how true that is. There is no greater joy in a pastor's life than to see those whom God has put under his care walk in truth. Isn't the same true about being a parent? As a Christian parent, there is no greater joy than seeing your children walk in truth, seeing them follow Jesus, seeing them love Jesus, seeing them serve Jesus. But can I also say this? The opposite is also true. There's nothing that grieves the heart of a pastor more than to see people in his church walk away from truth, live in lives of sin. And isn't that also true of a parent? There are few heartaches greater for a godly parent than watching their children abandon the truth of God. Gaius was a man of righteous living. And because he lived righteously, it not only benefited him, it benefited John. You see, my friend, listen, when you live by God's word, it doesn't just benefit you, it benefits everyone around you. But when you choose not to live by God's word, the reciprocal is true. It causes pain in those lives around you who know you and love you. Gaius was a man of spiritual growth. He was a man of righteous living. Tomorrow, we'll see he was also a man that demonstrated hospitality. Why don't you share this video right now on your Facebook page as I close out our time in prayer. Father, thank you. Thank you for that incredible reminder that when we walk in truth, we bless others. May we walk in your truth today. For it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Have a good day. We'll see you tomorrow morning right here on our morning check-in.